Brittany, people who are looking for contraceptives can still get them. That's according to the president of the Alabama Pro-Life Coalition. He tells me the 2019 Human Life Protection Act does not stop that. In fact, the Women Center in Tuscaloosa, that's all they can offer right now because they're not allowed to give abortions anymore. Eric Johnston is the president of the Alabama's Pro-Life Coalition. Well, Roe is gone, but abortion's not gone. It's up to the states. He helped lawmakers write the 2019 Human Life Protection Act that bans all abortions in Alabama and federally punishes anyone caught doing the procedure. Some would say Alabama's human, protect, human life protection law is the harshest compared to other states across the country who have created their own. Would you agree? I don't think I would use that adverb. Johnston says strict is more of an appropriate word because only women whose lives are at risk are eligible for an abortion. This does not include women who are raped or get pregnant by a family member. So if you put a rape and incest on the statute, uh, exception on the statute, then what that does is it violates the Alabama Constitution, which says you can't do that. Receiving contraceptives is the one thing the law doesn't fight. It does not affect in vitro fertilization. Uh, the definition that we use for when the protection begins. West Alabama Women's Center Operations Director Robin Marty says. We've been doing contraceptive consulting today. Um, we have three patients coming in this week in order to get IUDs. Marty says clients are calling nonstop afraid and all they can do legally is make sure they know which contraceptives are available. Even though they know that abortion is illegal, they are calling to see if we will do anything for them and it's breaking our hearts that there's nothing that we can do. Both Johnston and Marty believe women will find a way to get an abortion. They just will have to go somewhere else. Now, the center is only allowed to give a list of where those clinics are. That is the only legal thing they can do right now because it is public information, but they cannot set up appointments for these patients. Live in Birmingham, I'm Magdala Lusant, WVTM 13.